just calling up my parents right now. PVT's coming up. I have some things I need to ask them. When you go on an adventure with him, oftentimes he takes you in ways and places you didn't have a clue about. So in some ways, I'm just excited to go on an adventure. And we're off to PVT. Thank you, Pesht. It was beautiful. Put that sick video out there because it's, uh, yeah, that really showed how much it can hit you. And it is part, that's part of the adventure too. So it's not something you want and it's not something you expect, but it, it, it can be something you definitely can go through. Well, yeah. God takes you on the journey you need, not the journey you want. Yeah, absolutely. So now after three days of PVT, we're off to our adventure day with the Rents. These two people, Mom and Dad. We're here in Bucharest. Old Town Bucharest. Old Town Bucharest. So the first day of PVT was cool, right? Parents arrived. Go, 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 run! What else happened on the first day? Well, the first day we went to the city and we passed out um, Bibles in the. Um... No, that was this, that was like the third day. No, that wasn't. Yeah. That was Monday. Tuesday was the kids program. Mm -hmm. This is the Wednesday. Right. So the first day we went to the city. Where does your day start? Sunday. Sunday we went to church. Saturday. Right? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yep. All right. So, how was that little church experience? It was really cool being able to see the little old Romanian ladies, and I got to talk to them. So that was fun. So yeah, mom. How was day two? Oh, it was awesome. We went to the town that had the college started with a C. Oh and we passed out Bibles to strangers, and then we did a prayer walk around the University Administration Building, and then we went door to door putting Bibles in people's mailboxes. The hardest part was going up to complete strangers and asking them if they knew Jesus and would they like a Bible and to pray for them. I was out of my comfort zone. That's real, it's real, real. So yeah, that was day two, and then day three, that would happen on day three. I got a virus, a really high fever. Our host took me to a little country doctor. I found out I was a pediatrician at the front of her house in the village. The true world race experience. Weird doctors in random villages. Yeah, and I, that day is basically a non-day because I was flat on my back sweating with a high fever. It sucks. Okay, so Wednesday morning, we're getting ready to go to Bucharest. This is the free day with your racer and this kind of thing. And of course, I'm going, I'm not going to miss this. doesn't matter. I'm not going to be with a ton of kids. I'm just going to infect Caleb with anybody. So <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go no matter what. Mm -hmm. Now I'm feeling. And it just so happens, like, of course, I'm sitting in the courtyard. And of course, everybody's coming up and going, well, how are you doing? I'm making almost a statement of faith saying, well, I am kind of feeling so better when I'm sweating at a high fever. And when I finally climbed aboard the bus, I realized that I had kicked the fever. And I was actually, the fever was gone on the whole ride through. It was kind of interesting that, yeah, when I finally made the decision, okay, no matter what, you know, that's when I started feeling better. <laughs> Hi guys! Hello, my dad. Time, time to go back. My parents on the door, she hit me on the way out. That was fun, thanks for coming out. Hope you guys have a good flight. What's, what was the, the main takeaway? I, I don't know yet. I'll be honest, I don't know what the main takeaway is. Um, it was, it's still somewhat of a blur because it was so quick. And, uh, um, part of what I'm feeling is, 
you know, we can go halfway around the world to do ministry, yet there's ministry every day where we are having to deal with it and uh, just being aware of that. But again, I think I think it was just to get a taste of what you've been going through for 11 months, and I would imagine there will be a change now that you've gone through all these experiences. It'll be interesting to see what your main takeaway is and how you're going to integrate it into your life and how, what changes it will make for you. Thank you for the cell phone. Thank you very much for the cell phone. I appreciate my parents bought me a cell phone. Yeah, the tripod was the best purchase ever. Yeah.